previously on Alan Wake. Hey guys, what's up? Captain Derp here, back again. Well, actually, not back again. It's been actually three months since I made my last video. I'm sorry, guys. I've been really, really busy. I don't know. Well, thanks for you that some of you that actually watch my videos. I appreciate it. Uh, as you can see now, uh, tell again here that I have my new blue snowball here. I've been using the X12s, episode two. The X12s, um, they, I didn't like them that much. So now that I got the blue snowball for Christmas, they sound wonderful. And then now I, yeah, now that I'm back on YouTube, I plan to stay for a while now. Now that I have my blue snowball, but um, just recapping back Honey, on Alan Wake, I guess. I don't know you guys give me some ideas about what game I Worst should play. Worst weather I've ever seen. And then yeah, so let's see. Let's get back to this fucking up. game. All right, let's see. Switch on coffee maker. This is a nice fucking apartment. Oh okay, never mind. Not till I saw that shit out there. All right. Uh. Okay. Wait. Okay, right here. Wait. Oh, okay, Coffee's right on. there. Let's see. Calm down, whore. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I'll tell you. I didn't what think you'd you get them done this quick. Or what I think. On occasion, I can perform all Bitch. sorts of miracles, my dear. Alright, let's see. Um. They're pretty fucking horrible. Why would you make this shit? These look ever? really good. No, oh, no, sure. no, they don't. Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. Ha. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh shit. Alan, Alan, please check the fuse box. All right, okay. I'm right here. I will. I'm on it, honey. Yeah, or I'm right here. All right, calm down, down. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Yeah, never seen Hi. one before. Okay. You okay? Bitch. I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Yeah, Don't okay. worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, Breaking out the candles just, and having a good time. I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. Oh yeah, sex scene. Let's do this. Tell me a story, writer. Bring out the lotion. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Clicker. Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. A little scary oh, sure. ass. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. What the you hell? You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks Damn. for this. Caught him a liar. Ooh, yeah. Get it in, Alan. Get it in. Present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any I feel like shit. disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Oh, damn. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Oh, man, have you seen the shit well, I Mr. went Wake, through? We're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very okay. I'm sure she locate your wife. Uh, yeah, she's she's gone. She's I don't think she's coming back. Oh wait, we go over here. Everything seems to be what? Oh, okay, I think it's over here. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery. She's trying to seduce me, Ron. No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, okay. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up yes, at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell him I what walked there. Last Duh. Night, I couldn't. How else would I get there? Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the ball. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. He's Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page. Here. Bro, I honestly I don't care about Alice, so you do whatever you want with her. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Oh, I won't do nothing stupid. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. Sir, they won't are, listen to me. I, I need it to are, be bright in here. Are you okay? Okay, so... You're trapped here. So if, you, if I turn it on, what will I get out of this? You know? Hey, so let's see. All right, there you go, buddy. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. You're just Don't a let drunk. Anybody tell you different? You know, uh, I should yeah. Be in here. Ooh. The cops, they got it. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'll be leaving. Bye. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my headache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." Go through the fence past the guy's trash can house. Okay. Um. Examine the chunker. Karate chop or kick. Another manuscript. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. All right. What do you want, Barry? Oh. It's Barry. I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, oh, really? listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Alice, yeah, asshole. Going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Um, where do I go? Okay. Exit the sheriff's station. Meaning jailbreak. Let's go. All right, is he? Oh, okay, he's sleeping. Let's just leave him. Whoa. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Shapes it Let's turn it off and see what happens. The way a sculptor carves a statue. There you go, buddy. If I sleep tight. The world I'm making dies. Darkness. I don't care. Marvelous, sir. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have. Bye bye. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd nope. like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? <laughs> no, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. So I can rape the you and your asshole. is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation I with had the her pleasure on several of slapping her with my cock. With her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh, hey, Damn. Oh, Take it easy. You got knocked the fuck out. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. You don't know him. If you have business with Mr. Wake, to kill yourself. You talk to me. You Talk to that motherfucker. won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Homie don't want to be bothered. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. 
I told Barry everything. Papa he thought I was certifiable, Brazzi. but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan oh, really? was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just oh, thinking about you, too. she two. is Great. ugly. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! <laughs> That look, Who's Max. That face. What an airhead! Jeez, Mister Whoa. takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl, and more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Right, wait here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Oh. Hey, Rusty, right? What You're in cabins. Puppy. Oh, Mister Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry Take about care. this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, Bucktooth sure. Charlie. What happened? All right, it appears I have to find the form. The Seriously, registration. Al, what you were saying Is in the car? Is he still rambling? Just listen to yourself. You shot a guy, and his body just disappeared. He's just talking to himself. What was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? Hell no! Yeah. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, and Do everything's just. You understand what it sounds like when you say something. I don't care. Wait here. Be a bestseller. Oh my God, Barry! What am I gonna do with you? I think this is the form you wanted, and here are the keys. Oh. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have Why, you. Why? Thank you. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Okay, well, uh, hope you take care of that dog if right there. If you have there. any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the angel nest. It's right below that. Seriously, Al, you can't just go Jesus and meet Christ, a Barry. Those situations always end up in disaster. Shut up. <sighs> That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. <laughs> not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> He's angry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Caught a popo. Achoo! Achoo! <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are Alright, guys. Everybody I'm gonna end it here. I will continue. And don't forget to Achoo! give me suggestions Bless for some you. games. Oh yeah, what was that phrase again I'd always say? Oh yeah, please, and always, stay sexy.